What's up guys? So I just want to come in here um, in my car just to share what, you know, what's on my heart and what I feel like the Lord is, is just leading me to say. I want to let you guys know that there is hope, okay? In a world that's that's going down, right? That's going downhill. In a world that's that's experiencing a lot of chaos, right? A lot of destruction, a lot of deaths with COVID-19. Um, in a world where there's so many lies, I want to let you know there is truth. There is truth. The word of God. I want to encourage you guys to pick up the Bible, to pick up the Bible and read it. God will speak to you through it. If you need wisdom, ask God. He will give it to you, the Bible says. But I want to just hop on here real quick and let you guys know there is hope. His name is Jesus Christ, and he's what gives me hope. No matter what is going on in the world, no matter what life may try to throw at me, Jesus Christ is my hope. Without him, I don't know where I'd be in life. And that's, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. And I just want to encourage you guys. In a pandemic, right? In the pandemic we are in, I want us to use this time. I encourage you guys all to use this time to draw near to God and he will draw near to you. To seek him. To truly seek him. To seek a relationship with him. He wants a relationship with you. He wants a relationship with you. He wants to take all those idols out of your life. Everything that you're putting above him, he wants to get rid of it. And he wants you to trust in him. To trust in his son, Jesus Christ, for eternal life. For those of you who are watching this right now and you don't know Jesus Christ, you can know Jesus right now. Call out to him. He's there. He's not far off. He's He's there. He's he is near. He's not far off. Don't let nobody tell you that he's he's far to reach. No, he's right there. If you hear him, if you hear him, if you feel him, if you feel the spirit just drawing you right now, just accept the gospel. Accept the gospel. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Put your faith in Jesus. He died for your sins. Every sin you you have committed and every sin you have yet to commit, Jesus Christ died for it. And he took the punishment, the punishment that you and I deserved as sinners. Now, would you rather you pay for your punishment, which is eternity in hell? For the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Or would you rather Jesus Christ pay, uh, pay for your punishment, which he did on the cross? What, what, what would you rather choose? I don't know about you, but I'd rather choose Jesus paying for my punishment. This is a choice. This is a decision that you have to make. Will you reject Jesus or will you receive him? I feel the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is tugging at so many people's hearts, but they're rejecting him. Please do not harden your hearts, but let him come in. He's not going to force himself upon you because he's God, right? He's a gentleman. God's not going to force himself onto someone that doesn't want him. God wants us to desire him, but he will nudge. He will nudge at your heart. But will you trust? Will you believe? Will you put your faith in Jesus Christ to have your sins forgiven, to go to heaven when you die, to enter into a relationship with God, the very relationship that was lost at the garden when Adam and Eve sinned? Jesus Christ, guys, he's the way, right, to the Father. The Bible says, no man cometh to the Father except through me. In order for us to get to heaven, guys, we need to go through Jesus Christ. And I'm going to continue to preach Jesus because he is the only way. And he's the only one that can set us free. He's the only one that can set us free. Preach Jesus, preach Jesus crucified. Jesus Christ died, he was buried, and he rose three days later. That's the good news, guys. He is alive today. And if you are willing to put your trust and your faith in him, you will be saved. Now, you might say, ah, oh, some of you might think that you haven't sinned before. But let me ask you something. Have you ever looked at a, at a woman, looked, up, looked at a woman with lust? Have you? Have you ever stolen before? Have you ever told a lie? Those are sins, guys. That will send you to hell. Just one sin, guys. One sin will send you to hell. But the Bible says the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. 
the gift of God, guys. It's something that we receive, guys. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to earn it. You have to receive it. The free gift of eternal life. But you must make the decision. Your family can't do it. Your brother, your sister can't do it. You have to make the decision on your own. Will you accept Christ or will you reject him? There's hope. There is hope, guys. There is hope. And Jesus, he came to this life so that we might have life more abundantly. See, the devil wants us to think that, you know, how we live before coming to Christ, right? Slave to our sin is what life's about. But no, that's not what life's about. Guys, we were created to worship God. We were created to live for him. We were created to not live for ourselves, but to live for him. God Almighty. Amen. God Almighty. For those of you who don't know Christ, I'm about to say some things that not a lot of people like to mention. Not a lot of people like to preach. But it's the truth. As an unbeliever in Christ right now, you are an enemy of God. The wrath of God abides on you. The wrath of God abides on you. You are an enemy of God, the Bible says. The Bible says the more you, you keep rejecting Christ, the more, the more, the more wrath you're, you're heaping up on yourself for the day of judgment. The more you keep rejecting the gospel, the more you keep rejecting Jesus Christ, the more wrath is just keep piling up for the day of judgment. And when you stand before God, God's going to judge you for every deed you have done. Every deed, every sin that you have committed, thoughts, actions, whatever you have done, God is going to judge you. But it doesn't have to be like that. Because why? Christ took the punishment that you deserved for all those sins that you have committed. Christ took the punishment. He died for it on the cross. He died for it all on the cross. Past, present, future sins wiped away. If you would accept Jesus and believe in him and put your faith in him, we're saved by grace through faith, not of works so that no one can boast. You don't have to clean yourself up before you come into God. No, God will do that. He will work in you. But what you must do is put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ to be saved and to enter into a relationship with God. And that's the decision. That's a decision that you must make. I love everyone. I want everyone to come to know God. That is my desires for this generation. Not for the generation, but just for people, all people to come to know God Almighty. To know this hope. Because what good, what good does it do the world, guys, if I have this hope, right, and I'm remaining silent? What good? No, I have to preach this. I have to get it out there. I have to. It's not going to do no one good for me to be silent with the gospel, the good news. Oh, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. There's good news. Jesus Christ He's coming again. He's coming real soon. If you don't know him, you can know him right now. You can know him right now. Guys, I look around this world and I just see God just working through people. I see God speaking through people and he's warning people. But yet some people are laughing. Some people are mocking. In the days of Noah, when Noah was building the ark, people were laughing at him. People were looking at him like, bro, what are you doing? But when the flood came, they was pounding on that door. Let me in, let me in. But it was too late. It was too late. And when Christ comes, the Bible says he will come like a thief. In an instant, in a moment, he can come right now. He can come right now. The Bible says many people are going to be marrying, giving into marriage and drinking and eating, doing business as usual. And boom, the son of man will come. Blink of an eye. So that's why it's very important, guys, that we get right with God. How do we get right with God? By placing our faith in Jesus Christ, believing on the one that God has sent. Because he's the only way. He's the only way out. He is the only way to heaven. And I just want to come on here, guys, and share that with you. So, Father God, 
in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that whoever is watching this video and does not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, God, I pray that you would bring conviction upon them, God, right now. In Jesus' name, God, I pray that you open up their eyes to see their need for Jesus Christ. And I pray that you would open up their heart to receive the truth, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, guys, I pray and I hope that this message, this video encouraged you. I pray that it blessed you. I was thinking about doing this video yesterday or a couple of days ago, and I just want to hop on here real quick and just share what the Spirit of the Lord wants to say. For those of you guys who may be afraid to come to God, let me tell you something. God knows everything you've done, and God knows what you're doing right now. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be scared because he already knows. So why not come to him in boldness? Why not come to him in faith and say, Lord, I need your help. Cry out to him and he will save you. He will save you. You don't have to clean yourself up before you come to him. Because I know a lot of people are scared to come to God because they have some sins in their lives. That's okay. But come to God and he will get that sin out of your life. He will place the Holy Spirit in you. And that Holy Spirit is going to strengthen you and empower you to live the life that he intends for you to live. We can't do it on our own strength. It's all by him, his grace. But we must do what we must do, guys. As I said, we must make the decision to put our faith, believe in Jesus Christ and watch God work. Watch him work. Watch him work. He loves us so much. He sent his son to die so we can be free, so that we can, be in, so, so, so that we can live in freedom and not be a slave to our sins. Amen? Because that's not life. That's not life. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace.